Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to show you how to import sound fonts inside Audio Layer. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like the opportunity to own a copy of this fantastic in app purchase, inside audio layer please do follow the instruction in contained in the video description and um, uh, if you don't have a copy of audio layer i definitely recommend that you download one because it's a fantastic app okay so we are inside audio layer as you can see i've just connected uh, a bluetooth midi uh, controller so that i can play with it And as you can hear, I have these xylophone selected. Now let's click up here. And uh, as you can see here, we have a, a set of folders. I have already created one for SFM, which I'm going to select it. And then inside here, you have uh, options to, of course, import, batch import, creating folders, etc., etc. Now let's click on import. And as you can see, I'm already inside a folder inside my iPad where I have already loaded a number of sound fonts, as you can see, extension SF. Two. So let's click on this super so and um, it will import that and then let's play. And this sounds already great um but um let me show you what else you can do now let's click here and you can see uh, this is the imported sound font now let's click on save and uh, let's give it a name like uh, for example test and like so and uh, let's call it test fm um, perhaps number one and then click on save Okay, so we click on it again. So you can see the imported one up here and the new one here. Now let's import uh, an, another one. So let's scroll down and let's perhaps uh, import this synth here. Let's see what it sounds like. really nice let's go up here and click on it and you see the layer here and indeed here you can mute the layer you can solo the layer but what i'm really interested in at the moment to do is to copy that layer and let me show you why i'm doing that is because then i can go back to these test sfm one which are created go back to the layers view and click paste and i have the two layers now <laughs> And now I'm going to save this again, and I'm going to overwrite on it, which is perfectly okay. And I have a new instrument, which has been um, built using two sound phones, which I have imported. So this is really, really great. It gives you a lot of different options that you can use. Indeed, let's go up and let's go to this demo folder and let's select that uh, xylophone. Now let's copy that layer as well. Why not? Then let's go back to uh, SFM, to that test SFM one, and let's go inside the layer and paste the new one. Now let's play. <laughs> So you can hear three layers now, that Super So, that Synth, and that Xylophone here, which at the moment is inside this layer called layer number one. And let's save these again as a test F SFM one as well. Of course, now you can go inside each of these layer and solo them. This is the Xylophone, this is the Synth. Really nice, and this one is the Super So. Okay, so really nice. And of course, you can go inside each one of them and see the different option against the, the layer, okay, which um, um, 
I will, I will actually create a set of tutorials for audio layer. I haven't uh, quite done that yet, so there's something on, on my list. But of course, then what you can also do, you can click up here and you can go inside the setting of the instrument or of each individual layer. So for example, you could say that, um, so there. Right, you can enable the envelope and then play with the envelope. Right, and then you can change, of course, um, the other layer as you you wish. And of course, you can change the overall setting for the instrument, uh, overall setting for your zone, etc., etc. But this is absolutely great. You can actually create a really complex instrument as um, as you like, really. So let's have more fun. Why not? Let's uh, click import again and let's import something else. Okay, interesting, but perhaps not what um, I wanted. So perhaps let's try this sign wave here. Why not? So let's uh, copy that particular layer, go inside my instrument and uh, paste that layer as well. go inside the level here for the particular layer and the and uh, let's select the super so here and uh, let's change the envelope why not let's get it to come in later <laughs> adjust it as you like so let's go to that sine wave here level yes increase the level here so as you can hear you can create very complex instrument using audio layer and now you have this fantastic option to load some fonts which is amazing i have never been so excited i love the ability to actually uh, load some fonts and you can find so many out there in the internet which you can download free of course and then um, use to create your own instrument okay i'm going to stop here thank you very much versin to give us the opportunity to review the a sound font import feature and uh, as always see you next time bye